Obviously, it must be so Shizune can understand, fair enough. Her eyes dart back and forth between Misha's hands and me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be looking at. I'm talking to Misha, but that might be wrong. Maybe. I should face Shizune. I'm used to looking in the direction of the person whose voice I'm hearing, but really, Shizune can't hear me. Can she talk? No, oh, then again, if she... she uh, never mind. But it would be disrespectful to talk to her only through Misha. Then again, isn't that what she's doing? No, she's at least looking at me. This is a very... This is all very confusing and it will take some time to get used to. I hope to God it does. To get used to, I mean. It's not a contest because contests are competitions over a prize. If there's no prize on the line, it's not really a contest. I like it. Jizune's eyes flash dangerously with a competitive glare. She stay, stares at me and says surprised that I'm challenging her. I think maybe this is a contest to her. Ah, oh, shit. I never noticed before how dark and blue her eyes are. It's truly, a, truly an alluring gaze. Are they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh my god! Misha's the eyes of Xehanort! A bit. Da da da. Are you sure he chan? Very sure. Da da da. Haha, <laughs> you're wrong, he chan, because I don't want to be the slowest one in the class. Therefore, what's on the line if m is my confidence in my abilities, and the prize is the satisfaction of proving them. Wait, who said that then? You or Shizune? Wah. Uh, Shizune pushes her glasses up at the bridge of her nose in a very matter of fact way. Oh god, bells. I'd argue more, but the bell rings and she quickly gets up and picks up her bag, looking at me expectantly. Ugly picture. I had almost forgotten that I was supposed to have lunch with them. Jesus Christ. Uh oh. It's like they stopped us from running. Where do you want to eat? The cafeteria. That's so plain. Okay, let's go. I, I beg your pardon? Plain? Well, I guess. At my old school, I liked to eat outside near the back of the building. It was a good spot, but I didn't find it uh, find it until near the end of my freshman year. I wonder if there's a similar place to eat here. Misha seems to imply as much. Well, tell her to lead on then. Shizune and Misha pull, pull me towards the cafeteria, which is surprisingly not packed. Oh, maybe some students favor eating in classrooms or outdoors. I saw some of my classmates had boxed lunches. Delicious. After we finish eating, Misha picks up where we left off earlier. And that was... Zoe Chan, we wanted... Ah, oh, the clubs. You wanted to know about the clubs and stuff, right? Right? No. Dot, dot, dot. Right, Chi Chan. Okay, I guess it makes sense to ask first. No, it doesn't. Exchanging little nods of confirmation, they turn to face me again. Amisha straightens her posture as if she is about to deliver a speech. Oh god, please no. He chan, do you have anything you're interested in? Dueling! I used to play soccer, but I'm not really into it. I don't follow the t teams and play players or anything like that. You. As of late, I usually just read a lot. Hmm. There was a book club, right, Chi Chan? Oh god, please no. Right? But it seems like they have all the members they can possibly have right now. Sorry, Chan, it's really a popular club. Club. Where's the dueling club? I. Well? Da da da. Ah, okay. But more to the point, Yi Chan, does this mean that you don't have anything already in mind? Obviously. Da da da. Good. Great. That's great. Yi Chan, really great. Haha, <laughs> waha. Why is it so great? No reason. Oh, I hate it when girls do that. Well, he chan other than clubs and upcom and the upcoming festival, there is one other thing. At least she's gonna say what's on her mind. Student council. No way in hell. I see. I didn't know this school had student council. That was a very melodramatic step up, though. Just to tell me that. Well, just to tell me that. I'm pretty sure the two of them know this because Shizune looks a little embarrassed about it and Misha is laughing. Shizune quickly retakes control of the discussion in the manner of speaking. After all, 
it's still Misha who has to has who has to voice whatever she says, obviously. Da da da. Haha, hmm, right. Right. He chan, maybe you should join the student council. They could use more people. Yes, definitely. You should definitely join. No. The only council I joined was No, that'll be spoilers. Why? Well, for one, we could hang out every day. I, what the hell was I thinking about that? Well, for one, we could hang out every day, He-Chan. Shi-Chan and I are both in the student council. Wait, it's just the two of you? Actually, Shi-Chan is the president. Hmm. I'm starting to get the suspicion that that... I knew it. As if reading my mind, Shizumi quickly adjusts her glasses and signs something to Misha. Da-da-da. Aha, uh -huh. of course, we're not trying to get you to join, just because we would obviously benefit from you joining the student council, and therefore have an incentive to try and get you, you two. So you're admitting that? Uh, no, we're admitting, we admit nothing. I mean, he chan of course it would be nice if you joined and we'd appreciate it. But even without all that, joining the student council shows a healthy interest in the work of, the s of one school. Yep, it's true, he chan Besides, don't you want to spend time with us after school, he chan I can't tell if she's being genuine or if this is really good acting. Both of them seem to be trying to hard to get their clip get to get uh, trying hard to look their cutest, although they are already pretty cute to begin with. No lie. Well, Da, da, da. Oh god, those faces. So it's settled then. Welcome to Soon Council Lee Chan. And I rejoined! What? No, no! Ah, see, Shi Chan, of course it wouldn't go so easily. Oh god, she's seeing this as a challenge. Yep, that's right, though. That's right, though. It would be boring if we... if it went that smoothly. Oh well, Shi Chan owes me candy now. You were betting on it? Hey, my life is not a game here. Well, Luxord sees that life is a game. It's a shame. I wanted to learn more about that character. Shizune seems very intrigued by this when Misha signs it to her. The aggressive, the aggressive glint returns to her eyes. My god. Well, that's interesting, Hee-chan. Let's play a game. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's not what I said. You don't know what I'm thinking. How about rich man, poor man, he chan? If you lose, you have to join the student council. No. No, absolutely not. Oh, why not? You play my game. Dueling. Well, because you two both have the same in incentive and therefore the same goal, which is to me to, me to join the student council, right? Da da da. Yep. Yeah. That is my goal. But what this means is the both of you came can team up and I'll be at a clear disadvantage, so I'll have to decline like those fucking harpies. Da da da. He chan, I'm very offended. Are you saying you don't trust us and that we would pull something so disingenuous? That makes me sad. Sorry. It's hard to tell where Shizune's influence ends up, ends and Misha's thoughts begin. Da da da. In order to atone for hurting a young young girl's feelings, you should definitely join the student council. What the hell? No! How about a game of paper football instead of rich man poor man? No. Paper football. Yeah, it's a game. It's a game they play in America. You make a paper triangle and then you try to shoot it, it past goal posts. That's the other play, that the other players make with their fingers. Isn't it cool? It's the ultimate form of competition between two people, each chan Never. And it's also played by elementary and middle school children, she chan <laughs> That means it's a game that really separates the boys from the men. What? More like the boys from the slightly older boys. Anyway, I'm not going to play that either. either. Just the fact that you know about it means you prob you're probably surprisingly good at it. Uh huh. Yeah, that's true. How did you know, Si Chan? It was obvious. 
Jijun frowns at Misha, telling me that she probably wasn't supposed to admit that so readily. Readily? I wouldn't say that I'm happy with their attempts to get me into the student council, but I'm a little curious about what the student council does here. Don't give in! I've never been one on one before, or even know anybody who was a member, so it interests me. I also kind of like Shizune and Misa, so it wouldn't be so bad. Da da da. Okay, Chen, how about Risk? Risk. Game of World Dominance. I don't know what that is. It's really fun, he Chen. You fight for control of the world with armies and everything. I like this girl. Sounds like Shizune would be good at it. I don't like you. I like Misha, but I don't like you because you're good at that game. She would be the weak link. If you want to play, we can after school. Why not now so we can get this done? Uh, really, Shitan? We can we can play just for fun? He sh we can play this just for fun, he chan Shizune hasn't played in a long time, so if you want to, there's no strings attached. Thank God. Well, okay. Okay, 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 perfect. We'll see you after school in the student council room. Council room, then. He chan Wait, why there? Because that's where we, we keep the game. They plan this. I grimps to tell them how much I don't like this. Like this! But it's more for show than anything. So in the end, I agree, but only after getting Shizune to acknowledge that I don't mean anything concrete just by accepting to take a look around and play the game with them. With her. Then she ends and we go back to class. I read that. What? During, after the cla During afternoon classes, the long-haired girl came back and sits down in a seat without a word. I thought, I've seen things there, and I was like, what the fuck is that? Uh, and there was someone there. Again, no one seems to notice, or if they do, no one says anything. I want to ask Misha about it, but I don't want to be nosy. Stop being nosy. They'll probably be offended. Why? Because you're going to ask, Why the hell are you ignoring that girl? And they'll be like, We have our reasons. And then I'll want to know why. Oh, God. After school, Shizune and Misha quickly follow me by the first floor lobby and latch onto me, covering each flank in case I might try to escape. Shit. I feel a little offended, but... I'd been considering it. Nevertheless, I'm a bit disturbed that enough people have made a break for it in the past that they've that they're on their guard. What's with the escort? This doesn't make me feel very comfortable. In fact, it makes me feel like a dangerous prisoner being transported to this cell. Well, what's wrong, he chan You. That's right. We're just going to play a game of risk, remember? Lies. I don't know, Misha. I don't know. Misha, this all seems a little sinister to me. I start thinking that when we sit down to play the game, they'll just tie me down and torch me until I agree to join the student council. Hmm. Well, that's highly unlikely, but still, for some reason, it just seems like it would be so... plausible. <laughs> Get to the student council room is as simple as turning two corners from where we started. Brilliant. What? That's it? This makes you guys being on so on top of me it seems silly. That's not true, Ichan. Si Chan says that when there's life their life is threatened, people have shown the capability to pull off superhuman bursts of strength speed. Well, actually, strength as well. Another stuff. Life is threatened. Wait, what are you trying to say? Her expression unchanging, Misha signs something am amusedly to Sejune, who makes a baffling face and puts her hands behind her back, looking pleased with herself. Oh, God, we're screwed. Oh, dear. Misha feigns... Misha feigns deafness and hums cheerily. Stop that. I know you you heard me. 
You have no excuse, unlike Shizune. Oh yeah. Hmm, I forgot. Shizune opens the door to the student council room. It's a, ve it's a very plain, sparsely decorated room. Although it's quite large. Maybe even larger than the classroom. <sighs> There's a big table in the centre surrounded by chairs and a smaller desk prom prominently placed in the back in the back that I assume is Shizune's. There are a few regular desks and chairs stacked to one side as well. Extras perhaps? Probably. Aside from the tables and chairs, the room doesn't have much else to offer. Just a couple of filling cab filing cabinets and bookshelves stacked with old school records and documents. Not much else, in fact, nothing else. This is a pretty bleak room. They could at least put a potted plant in here, or something. But the m most noticeable thing that this room doesn't have is other people. Are we early? I'm gonna be right. No, I was right. What do you mean no? Does this mean nobody else is coming today? Da da da. Yep, that's right. Well, what? before I manage to ask why that's the case, she's only claps her hands together very energetically. Da da da. He chan, let's play risk. Come on, you promised it. You, you have to. Okay, okay. Do you want to know the rules? We can explain to you. Oh, shit. Oh, well. While Misha is talk talking, Shizune takes out what looks like a board game from behind one of the filing cabinets and throws it on the table. Actually, this looks kind of interesting. Oh, God, that face. Tizunis, I mean. After Misha spends a little too long for her liking, for her liking, running through the basics with a somewhat vague and confusing tutorial, Suzune cuts in and declares the game as started with a decisive motion, slicing her arm through the air. Suzune aggressively, aggressive, Shizune's aggressiveness is rubbing off onto me. I start to feel more competitive than I intend to be when I agree to this. Halfway into oh my, halfway into the game, while I try to ponder how to defend against Shizune's assault from two fronts, she breaks my concentration by drumming her fingers on the table to get my attention. Da da da. He chants. Shizune wants you to know that you're taking too long to make a move. Damn it! Shizune, Shizune, she chant. Also says that. She will let you keep Australia if you agree to join the student council. I thought this was a... We can start Australia. I thought this was a game with no strings attached. We can reclaim it soon. Just the fact that she would dangle that over my head as an offer means that she knows I care about the outcome of this game. And anyway, no! Da da da. Shichan she -chan admires your fighting spirit and would be a benevolent dictator who who will spare your people if you agree to join the student council. Never! You're so competitive, Shizune. She seems to take this as a compliment. I would expect the student council president to be a little more magna magnanimous? Magnanimous. She doesn't seem to know that word, what that word means, how do I? Or how it sounds, so she pulls out a piece of paper and writes it for Shizune who reads, returns the sign back to Misha. Misha presses her index finger against the temple, her temples, as if trying to physically imprint the word into her memory. Da da da. Suddenly, Shizune bursts into a flurry of gestures. Misha looks daunted by the pace of her heated sign. Signing. Uh, wait. Please slow down, Si Chan. Uh, he Chan. Si Chan says you're going to lose. Never. Tell her I crush her, crush her world empire with my rebellion. Uh, okay. Those eyes. Oh my God, they do. <laughs> Those eyes of hers shine with childlike mischief. Da da da. She's. Oh God. She says you have no more chance if you keep playing like this. So you won't. She says you have no chance if you keep playing like this. No, you won't. 
I have no idea who's speaking.